Hi, this is Troy from Many Channels. <laughs> uh, Do-it-yourself world, your off-grid project, and now TR Tech Tactical and Survival. A little bit of a crossover today. I am on the Do-it-yourself world cha YouTube channel. I'm working on the chicken fencing all the way around, but I also have, at the same time, something I have to try out for my tactical channel. This is the, um, obviously not easy to pull out of the sheath with the uh, braided uh, 550 cord. This is the United Cutlery Black Ronin Tomahawk, the Survival Tomahawk, which I am using and putting to the test today. It's a very good opportunity for me to try this out. I have some pathways that I use here heavily that uh, I have some branches and trees that are in my way. Ticks are really bad out here, and I've got to clear these out so I don't get ticks as I walk through here, these lower branches. Um, Black Ronin, I got this, if you remember, at a garage sale for a couple dollars. I can't remember. You can go back to the video, and you'll find that on there. So I just need to shave off these little branches. Today I am covered in tick spray, but I don't have myself smothered from head to toe in tick spray every day. I don't like chemicals, they're not good for you. And therefore cleaning off these little scrubby branches will greatly help me. I can tell you that the black ronin though feels good in the hand. It's a uh, 20 or $30 survival tomahawk. You can get it on Amazon, I'll put the link down below. And it is, it feels good because there's nothing really to it, it's just a piece of metal. One thing, you're not gonna break it very easily, right? Uh, it's got a comfortable grip because of the 550 cord, which by the way, as soon as you buy it, is going to come off. You'll have to rewrap it yourself. All the reviews say the same thing. The 550 cord that comes originally on it is going to come off. So when you get it, expect that the handle will have to be rewrapped better by you. These are made in China, so forgive me, there is some good stuff coming out of China, but not a lot. And I guess their laborers are not doing a good job on the wrapping. But the, the Tomahawk, I, it has some, these, it's got some good points to, to grip, to fight. I mean, it's, it, it can be a fighting Tomahawk. But another thing though, like I said, it's got a nice feel to it for working on, uh, out in the woods. It's really got a good swing. not a heavy duty axe by any means. It is a it is a survival tomahawk. It's not a battle axe. It's not a heavy weapon. But it is uh, it has enough heft to do the job to knock down these branches with ease. As you can see it takes these little ones off just so smoothly. So I really like this. And today, while I'm working along the fence line, I am using this heavily out here in the woods. So I use my tools. I don't just play. I use my tools. Uh, as I said, though, the 550 cord makes it awkward to get in and out. I do have it open behind my back, so it is not going to be a fast draw. That is definitely a negative point. It's not going to be a fast draw. But out here, for what I'm using it for, it's perfect for general wood, uh, you know, bushcraft and woods working, uh, hiking, backpacking, um, working out here, blazing a trail for my fence line, it's a good tool. And um, honestly, for a $30 entry level tomahawk, pff, you can't go wrong. I'll be doing some more work with it and, uh, as the time goes on, and I'll have the full review up here in a while. So, uh, well, Get back to work on the fence line. Troy from TR Tech Tactical and Survival. Using the black Ronin pretty heavily today.
pretty good tool. It's easier than firing up a chainsaw for these little ones. This is about the toughest one I've done today though. Now the guy I bought this from did a really good job on the handle. I'll tell you, he redid the handle, I'm sure. Like I said earlier, the reviews, they all say the handles go bad on these right away. Well, United Cutlery, Black Ronin, it is a good tool. I still got to do some throwing tests, but uh, as far as chopping and hacking, I really like it. It's a good tool, good utility tool. Um, this It's now a toss-up what I'm going to keep in my bug-out bag permanently, but the weight of this and the action of it, I'm really liking it. And the grip, surprisingly, is comfortable with uh, extreme hacking and slashing like I've been doing today. Um, I have ripped up the, the tip, the edge. I have been working quite a bit in the stones. So I have really been ripping it up. It's gonna have to be sharpened, but hey, it's a tool. And it's doing what it needs to do.